Okay guys, welcome back to tutorial number 19. So in ES 2015, we have string templates which offer a convenient way to work with strings. So in this video, let us have a look at string templates. I'm going to start off by creating a simple variable. So let user is equal to Chandler. And let's say we want to greet Chandler. So let greet is equal to welcome. And then in JavaScript, we would use plus for string concatenation. So we would say user and then again a plus and then we would say to ES 2015. Then if we go ahead and log this onto our console, we would have welcome Chandler to ES 2015. Now, however, with string templates, we can eliminate this plus character for concatenation. So I'm going to start off by replacing this double quotes with backticks. So now what is a backtick? The backtick is the key below escape and above the tab key. So go ahead and replace that. And now we can eliminate these plus characters. So if you want to use a value that is assigned to a variable within a string, we can use the dollar and wrap the variable name within curly braces. So now the value Chandler is going to get interpolated over here in this user variable. So let's save this. And we see that our output still remains the same. Now another important use of this string templates is it allows us to use single codes and double codes within the string. So now we can have single and we can also have double and we don't have to worry about messing up the string syntax. So let's save this and there you go. We have the single codes and the double codes. So this comes in really handy sometimes. And another feature of string templates, which is of great help during Angular 2 while writing HTML is that it supports multi-line strings. So now we can have multiple lines without having to use the string concatenation. So over here, I can say, this is the second line. And then I would say third and so on. So let's save this and see what the output is. So there you go. We have multiple lines of strings outputted to the console, but be careful because when you use backticks, white spaces are significant. So if, if you see the amount of white spaces over here, they get outputted onto the console in the same way. So that is something to keep in mind when working with backticks. So that is going to be it about string templates. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.